Um, sometimes my videos don't make sense to a lot of viewers because they're like, oh, she's talking about her depression, but she lost her son. What is going on here? Um, I do that for multiple reasons, and through the series, I do talk about why I do that. Um, but I'm going to be a, a little bit more open here and say that diverting. It's very difficult for me to talk about Isaiah in a sense other than like my very, I lost my son, this is what I've had to say. Um, if I talk about Isaiah like a memory or think of him like really being gone and give myself more than a few seconds to even like put myself into that, that moment or that thought, um, I lose myself very easy. Um, I'm still not very strong yet and talking about Isaiah brings me a tremendous amount of pain and sorrow. Um, throughout any given day, no matter what I'm doing, many things remind me of my son. And my brain says that is too much, too much sadness all the time. And so my, my I try to find ways to cope with my feelings of losing Isaiah and there's many different things that my brain tries and so it's squirreling all over the place um, but one of them is these vlogs and these vlogs I'm able to talk about what's going on with my mental health I'm able to reach people and let them know that they're not alone in their feelings and their depression whether it be in relation to mine or to Isaiah's and um, it's a way for me to be able to deal with my struggles without having to deal with my struggles sometimes. And um, every time I question if I'm doing the right thing by doing these, these videos, um, because I'm not really quite stable yet, they recommend waiting a couple years before being a mental health advocate if you're a suicide loss survivor. Um, and I, every time I question whether I should be doing this because I'm not sure I'm capable, because I am all over the place, um, I get messages from, from people that are bereaved, like Gina or James, that they're going through a lot of similar things. And it validates, especially like James and Tanya, your family, knowing that you lost your Ross, you know, just eight days from Isaiah. And when I see like your posts, and I know that like you're going through that same kind of shit that we're going through and like those same feelings and I'm able to show it to Steve and we're able to go, yep, it's pretty spot on. It reminds me that doing this reminds others, like I keep saying that they're not alone. Whether they can relate to Isaiah, whether they can relate to me, whether they can relate to me and my depression or me and my loss, it doesn't matter. But yeah, I divert to many different things to try to cope with the pain and these videos are helping with that. So I thank you guys for watching them, I appreciate it. Um, and a lot of times I, I do find myself talking about my mental health issues and not talking about Isaiah a lot. And I'd really like to share Isaiah more with you. And I think that I'm getting ready to venture down that path. Um, it's, it's, it's really hard for me. So maybe we start off slow. I'll start off by saying that um, Isaiah liked to talk with us. And we shared a lot of common interests. And one of the common interests that we had with Isaiah was music. I actually went to a concert, a punk rock concert with him in the womb at um, uh, First Avenue, but I was up on the rafters and, and then, um, because obviously it couldn't be in like the mosh pit and I think it was like, I don't remember who we saw, I'll, I'll put it in the, um, the about Steve will remember. But, um, and then he went to Deftones with Steve and like Chevelle and um, he just, Steve put a stereo in his car and we we talked about the weekend and how I just like this and he likes that and just different artists and different lyrics to songs and 
So yeah, that was a great memory that we share with Isaiah. And a lot of times now, music can be very painful because although music can bring me joy, it can also bring me sadness. So like a sad song can, can make me very sad. A song that I enjoyed with Isaiah can make me very sad. Like, for example, like The Weeknd. Um, the part where he says, she be low main. <laughs> he said he said that was so clever. He didn't know that he said low main. And, uh, you know, just, just different things, you know. And then it can trigger emotions just no matter what, whether it be a Christmas song or whatever it be. And um, so your mind will try to divert to something different and then different and then different. And um, we latch on to whatever we find that brings us some sort of comfort. And um, I guess my comfort is being able to try to reach out to other people and to talk about my mental health and say that uh, this is the things that I go through. <laughs> so just, I don't want anybody else to feel alone. And although it, it you would think that it, it brings me a lot of pain, it, it brings me a connection to my son and a diverting a diverting of my pain without addressing it so um, I hope to advise my revise <laughs> my channel a little bit more and um, have more uh, vlog videos and more um, suicide about Isaiah and, and, and his personality and who he was and then also some more informational um, videos as well and I don't I don't know why I'm doing this I guess maybe I think that'll help you picture picture things <laughs> who knows right um, but yeah so I just I wanted I didn't want to give you this crazy video of me crying and then you go oh, she's full oh, what's going on with her and I wanted to be able to have a follow-up video to say I am doing okay there's my highs, there's my lows, and there's the always in-betweens. And um, although I might divert a lot and I might be all over the place, it's just where this, this path in life is taking me. And um, I want to try to keep continuing to be as honest and open with it as I can. And um, this, is, this is where my mind and my grief and my coping is at with my loss with Isaiah. All right, um, with that being said, I think I'm gonna wrap this up. Um, and thank you guys for continuing to watch, continuing to subscribe, and um, breaking the stigma that we can't talk about mental health because it is so flippin' important that we talk about it. So I thank you. Um, please be the light if you can for others, and if you can't, uh, keep that light going, that pilot light going for yourself. You do have worth, you do have matter, and if you don't have people in your life right now that are making you feel like you matter, find a new tribe, because you do. You do, you do, you do. All right, uh, peace, love, and kindness. Please pay it forward.